This is an exciting time in the industry because Wi-Fi 6 opens up a new chapter in networking. Wi-Fi 6 gives rise to a new level of connectivity that changes how you access the network and what you can experience while you're connected. This lets you give new experiences to your customers and it can change how you do business. So let's talk more about the Wi-Fi 6 opportunity in three areas. First, Wi-Fi 6 is now. Second, Wi-Fi 6 enables new applications and developers. And third, Wi-Fi 6 is about the whole network. So let's talk about how Wi-Fi 6 is now. As you saw, there's a new set of Wi-Fi 6 products available now, and more will be coming in the year ahead. So Wi-Fi 6, or 802.11ax, represents a major step forward over the current version of Wi-Fi, 802.11ac, because of a number of technology advancements. So let's geek out for a minute to understand them a little better. So first, there's the move from OFDM to OFDMA. 802.11ac uses OFDM, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, where an access point can send all the data to one client at a time using the entire frequency band. But if an access point wants to send data to different clients, it transmits the data in different time intervals. Wi-Fi 6, on the other hand, uses OFDMA, orthogonal frequency division multiple access. And with OFDMA, an access point can talk to multiple clients at the same time by allocating different frequencies to different clients. So the access point can also trade off how much spectrum it uses to send lower rate or higher rate data streams to the different clients according to their data needs. So in essence, it provides a more efficient use of frequency and time to get better performance. Another advancement is the move from carrier sense multiple access to scheduling. In 802.11ac, access points and clients use a listen before talk protocol to look for an opening to transmit data, and they can face collisions when they start to talk. But Wi-Fi 6 uses scheduling at the access point for both downlink and uplink communications to all the clients. And with scheduling, the access point can avoid collisions and fill every time slot with transmission opportunities so it doesn't waste time without transmissions. So another important benefit of Wi-Fi 6 is power savings in the client. Instead of a client's radio being on all the time to listen for a packet, the access point can let the client know what its target wake-up time is, so the client can put its radio to sleep until that time. And this can lead to significant power savings for clients and enable a new set of IoT sensors and applications. So what does this all mean? So with OFDMA, scheduling, target wake-up times, and other technology advances, Wi-Fi 6 supports more clients, which is often called higher density environments, and it gives them higher throughput, lower latency, and overall improved performance. And it provides power savings for clients. So let's step back out and think about how Wi-Fi 6 enables new applications and developers. So if we look back over time, what we've seen is that with every major networking technology transition came a new set of capabilities and applications. There was a time when you couldn't imagine sending voice over an IP network, and then we had voice over IP. There was a time when you couldn't imagine streaming video to your phone or high definition video to your home, and then we had mobile video phones and HDTV. So I believe we're at a similar transition with Wi-Fi 6. So developers should start building applications now to get ready for this next wave of connectivity that'll become widely available, widely available in the next one or two years. So let's take a look at some of the new opportunities for developers. A university has thousands of students, and each student is carrying multiple devices. So with the higher density of Wi-Fi 6, all of those students and all their devices could be connected at once. And you could do something like stream an interactive augmented reality learning app and still get really good quality. So this can change how students learn, and it enables completely new education models. Also, a manufacturing plant has robots that work on mission-critical applications. With the higher density and the power savings enabled by Wi-Fi 6, we can connect more IoT devices throughout the plant. And all of these devices and robots can operate with high-performance connections that are secure and reliable. So Wi-Fi 6 is programmable, and what that means is that a whole new world of applications and businesses are possible. These changes happen so fast 
that application developers and network and IT providers need to get started now to prepare for this future. So this brings us to the last point, which is that Wi-Fi 6 is about the entire network. The new level of connectivity for devices and applications impacts the end-to-end -end network, all the way from the data center and cloud to the campus and branch, to the edge, and to the device. And it's also about connecting Wi-Fi 6 and 5G. It's important to consider capabilities like intent-based networking to let you manage and operate your entire network using automation to drive policy across the network and assurance to know it's working as planned. You can build in security and analytics from the network up to applications, users, and devices.